It's chilly here on the property, but we are finally breaking ground on what will be our future A-frame. Mars is keeping busy building out our creative tiny studio, and the kids are really enjoying the snow. We'll also dive into how we stay healthy in the van. Please subscribe and tell us a little bit about yourself in the comments below. This couple moved to Salida recently and started a really cool project called Van Camp Salida where they let people come work on vans and get hot showers and they got shut down by the county, unfortunately, because I guess on rural property you aren't allowed to have like an auto mechanic place, which they weren't really doing that. They're just letting people that had vans and we're trying to have a space to work on it come and stay. It's really unfortunate, but I think they're trying to work with the county to see what they are able to do. But we became friends with them back before we left for Florida. And so they've been letting us come and plug in. And dude, we are so thankful because, I mean, it got down to negative two degrees and we had a space heater on. And usually the space heater makes the van super hot and the van got up to like 45 degrees. But it's also a very beautiful day. I'm out here doing my walk and when you're outside moving, it's awesome. It's, there's no wind at all, but trying to sleep in, you know, negative two degree weather, no thank you. See how these guys are doing. Progress. Still a lot of insulating to do. But yeah, dude, it's coming around. Honestly, using a chef's knife is the best way to do these bats like this. I mean, look, it slices right through. Yeah. Look how clean of a cut that is. I mean, man. Because I, I was using a uh, razor blade to start, it wasn't long enough. No joke, though, it is the real deal. That's what's nice about this batting, is that it just fits right in. You don't have to staple or anything. I was actually reading today that whenever you used to do this batting, um, you need to put up a vapor barrier. So some sort of, you know, uh, house wrap or something like that. But for whatever reason, I don't know. They just said that's kind of the old school way of doing it and that you don't really need that um, because it allows it to breathe a little more without it. And since I put Tyvek house wrap on the outside, they said I don't really need to do anything on the inside. So it'll be pretty straightforward. Put the insulation in and put the shiplap right up, which I can't wait for. Bread. You put him in a seat. Mm -hmm. Thanks, you're very helpful. Oh, how's that, bud? That good? I got this from my sister and brother-in-law 
for Christmas, and I thought it'd be really cute in our vintage camper, so let's go. Oh my god. Ugh, the door's froze. Oh, camper. Oh boy. That would look really good. Right up there. For now, the little picture can just go right there. Thanks, Julie and John. We got this from our friends, the Contented Nomads, Robin Robin. It's Joshua Tree, which is where we got the camper. So it fits perfectly. The place is really coming together. What we need to do is get that fire started. It's good being back in this little camper. We'll get it all opened up now. There's a few things left to do in here. We have to get these light fixtures put on. I need to do the face of this. So this is where we have our fridge. Underneath the vanity area, I have to do all the cabinets. It's just gross, I'll show you, but it's pretty. There's just like mouse traps and stuff. Get this light put in here, and then our bathroom. I have a really pretty skylight that's gonna go up here. We all have tiling though. Our toilet, there's a little nature's head. That needs to be closed in too, underneath the stove. It's pretty much done though. Just open this up and it's frozen. Oh no. This is the paint. We have to do this back wall before we do anything else in the bathhouse, so hurry up and wait, I guess. Let's go put this in the van and heat it up and let it <laughs> melt. <laughs> Jeez, dude. What? This is where we're at so far. Got the walls insulated. There's gonna be windows, obviously, where the cutouts are, where the frame outs are. I'm ready for the space. God, me too. Yeah, that's how we should do it. Then there won't be any uneven space. You like that? Not too wide? Let's do a few more too. Just like a quarter inch closer. I think that diff that little bit of difference will matter probably. Yeah. When it's all said and done, it'll matter. Oh man. Yeah, that's better. You like that better better? Yeah. Nice and easy. so good <sighs> I thought I would get further along but that's okay still making progress down here got it wired in so uh, we'll hook that up to our solar charger and inverter uh -huh. whenever we get it but yeah um, whenever we're done we'll put like a little uh, little ledge right here where we can maybe put some plants or something ship lap up the ceiling but you know it's probably kind of hard to see but man it's it's coming around my way back to the van Mom makes celery juice. Get the celery. That's it. <laughs> you ready for some celery juice? Yeah. Starting the day off right with my celery juice. Um, a few videos back, we kind of went into all the benefits that celery juice on an empty stomach in the morning every day does for you. So having the juicer in the van, it does take up a lot of space and it does take a lot of water to clean it. So we kind of keep it out 
throughout the day and then just do our single dish clean at the end of the day so that we're not just wasting a bunch of water. Um, so we found that beneficial, but having it, like even though it takes up space, even though it's harder to clean, um, having it on the road and the benefits that we found by being able to juice when we're on the road has been really great. Okay, how's it going on the bathhouse? Um, I haven't really started, but uh, so I, I heard something though when I was just up here and it sounded like a heavy machinery. Was it the juicer? It wasn't the juicer, no, but heavy machinery. And I was like, man, that sounds a little louder than whenever they've come out with like a bobcat to uh, Jeff and Claudia's, our closest neighbor. And so I started walking down there and sure enough, this bobcat's coming up our road. And I'm just like, oh boy. In what our is... road? Yeah, on our road. And I was like, what? I see, anyway, so I went and talked to him, real nice guy, Cameron. Um, but they're here to dig out, he's been working with our contractor, Scott, to dig out our, um, the the I, like the pilot holes essentially for our septic. What? Yeah. Yeah. There's a different word to use, not Poop pilot holes. holes. Poop holes. Well, no, they're like the test holes. They end up filling the back with dirt. But whatever. Anyway, it's where the leach field, I guess, will end yes. up. So perk holes. Progress. Perk holes. Yeah. So you want to come with me? I'll go show you. So we have a uh, a decent ways, like distance wise, to our closest neighbor, which is just south, kind of down the hill from us. Uh, so when I heard that, I was like, man, either someone's trying to get through to a property behind us, or maybe they're here to start working on our septic. We were a little curious <laughs> how hard this ground might be. Obviously you can see there's lots of snow and it's been really cold, but he said it's actually not too bad. So we'll be digging two holes. He calls them perk holes. I guess that's eventually where the leach fields will end up. So maybe I'll plant some trees or something around there. <laughs> yeah, well hey dude, this is like probably this is really the first bit of progress for us starting to build our A-frame. And that's super freaking exciting. Didn't make it as far as I wanted to make it last night on the slats, but I'm finishing that up so then we can move toward doing some shiplap. Um, we have some natural pine shiplap that'll just match this and give it... What's up, baby? See what oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Look at him wave. Oh, my gosh. You're so cute. You eat that up, buddy. You love it. Kids are entertaining themselves. That's a big, big, big perk for the day. Anyway, so we're, yeah, gonna move on to shiplap here after a while, but I still have half a wall of this to do, so I'm gonna get going. Look at this egg. That's what you get when you use the outdoors as your refrigerator. I just put like a bag of groceries outside because I was like, oh, it's cold and our fridge is full, so the outside is a fridge. Well, now everything is frozen, so, oh well, it's okay. Still worked. The the uh, the main goal worked. Everything is nice and uh, cold.
you making a mess? All right, guys, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about mental health. Obviously, this month we're focusing on our health and wellness, and so that 100% includes mental health. Um, I've, I don't know if I've said this on any of our videos, but I have struggled with anxiety and depression since I was probably a teenager. I'm sure that's when it starts for a lot of people. Um, and it gets worse after having kids. Obviously, my hormones are crazy. And so I've done a lot of research on what can help me have the best mood possible. So here's some of the things that I've found that have helped me out. Um, let's start with lemon balm. So lemon balm um, gives you a nice calming effect. I usually use like one droplet full and add it to a cup of water. GABA. So I discovered this this year. It reduces your anxiety and your stress, promotes a balanced mood, and it really helps you with sleep too. So actually I told my parents about it. I was like, this is amazing. I, I feel like happy feelings more often. And they're like, oh, that's great. And so they took it. And my dad, who's suffered from restless leg syndrome for a long, long time, actually takes it now when he goes to sleep and he doesn't have restless leg syndrome anymore. So there's other uses for this as well. Ashwagandha. So I started taking this this last month. Take about 350 milligrams twice a day. This also helps to relieve anxiety, depression, um, stress, and promotes a balanced mood. Next up we have iron. So if you have low levels of iron, which I do, um, I've been borderline anemic for, I don't know, as long as I can remember. And so if you have low levels of iron, it can cause anxiety, depression, like brain fog. And so I've added iron to my diet to help, um, to help support my brain function. So next, zinc. If you have low levels of zinc, um, you can have more depression, anxiety, irritability, which, you know, with kids sometimes you can seem kind of irritable or I can be kind of irritable. So same thing with iron is if you have low iron, low zinc levels, you can be more irritable. So add these to your diet to kind of help support your moods. Next we've got spirulina. So we get the kind of organic Hawaiian spirulina. Supposedly it's the best. Um, and we add this to our smoothies, which we're, I'm about to show you in a minute. Our um, heavy metal detox smoothie has high levels of tryptophan, which is converted into serotonin, the happy chemical, by vitamin C. So these two are a happy couple. So if you take if you take vitamin C, add a little bit of spirulina to it, um, and it's great. But anyway, this is really awesome in smoothies. Um, Everly even likes it. It makes the smoothie like a really fun green color. Fun green color. Some kids may not be too into that, but if you call it fun green, maybe so. I don't know. But anyway, let me show you the really awesome heavy metal detox smoothie that we have been um, drinking for the past couple of years. It's delicious. The kids love it. We love it. Um, and hope you guys like it too. We've got barley grass juice powder. You need one teaspoon of this. One teaspoon of Hawaiian spirulina, one teaspoon of Atlantic Dulce Flakes, you do one cup of cilantro, one banana, Wyman's blueberries. These are organic blueberries from Maine. It's the only bag we ever get. And you're supposed to add an orange to have some juice or some coconut water. Um, I'm just gonna add regular water because I totally forgot oranges. But all these together help to pull heavy metals from your brain. You make a smoothie? Yeah, I'm making a smoothie. You want some? She loves it, I'm telling you, she loves it. So these five key ingredients work together in synergy to help pull heavy metals from your body. So heavy metals like aluminum, mercury, uh, copper, lead, these heavy metals literally do damage on every organ in your body. They poison your system. And so removing them is super important 
to your health. And so this smoothie is delicious. My child loves it. We love it. Anyway, cheers. Ugh. I'm getting my little jammies and we might even have a slumber party. Slumber party. <laughs> get Elsa out of bed. Want to have a sleepover? Pop. This time Elsa opened her eyes that sounded like a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned with what's to come.